public art is really special to me because it communicates to everyone and it talks to people who wouldn't often walk into an art gallery and might not consider themselves as knowledgeable in the sense that they're allowed to look at art or think about art and it brings that into a space that they claim as their own. There's a big honour in gifting a story to a wall and to a site and trying to respect that site as well as the people that you don't even know that will be looking at it. I haven't actually seen any all-female mural events in Australia before. Like Maybe there has been one, but not that I've seen. An interesting thing is that the grid technique that I use regularly for all of my walls, but including this one, was invented by Roan, who's from Geelong. So that's exciting to bring that technique to the place where it probably originated. I think Geelong's really lucky that we do have such a creative scene and it's not sort of like pigeonholed. So I think because there is so many different groups that there's someone, something for everyone. There's something that you will be able to find a space for yourself and but they all support and help each other in different ways. I love drawing horses, I love animals in motion so I would do that because I didn't have a horse as a kid so you make your own. I love this wall, this is perfect wall, like it's um, it's like a, it's a brick wall that's got character but it's not too rough to be able to put detail on. And it's a cool location. Like when I first saw this, like, oh, look at this lane. This lane's got age and character and history and stories. I've had fun sort of making a really textured, layered background. And there are messages under the layers of paint, which is part of the process for me as well. The thing is with doing something like this is to have a very well-planned plan. And I've got a great team of uh, people helping me who are all women and all artists and, and we all work really well together. We have a system and we've done this very, very quickly to the surprise of many of the tradies walking past. I um, spend a lot of time at Point Lonsdale. One of the things I spend a lot of time doing in summer is, is drawing on the beach and working out different patterns and designs for making wall drawings. And this idea of making geometric waves has come very much from the ocean and the sea and so all these things are kind of coming together, I guess. When you're working with this many people, you have to try to kind of coordinate. So it's like, okay, some people need to be up here. Some people need to be out down here. How do you, you know, not use 50 paint rollers at once and they all dry out? You have to coordinate who's doing what colour at what time, who's doing which height at what time, swapping over. But everyone's been working really well and helping each other out, so it's not been too much of an issue. But everyone's been really good at, I think, Stepping out of their comfort zone, um, trying new things, everyone's helping each other, you know, sharing advice, um, which is a good thing as well. But working in a group because you've got all these different voices who can help each other out. Give different opinions, go, I think this works, I think that works. Um, so it just makes it a nice big collaborative project. It's been fun to kind of explore the different like native botanicals of the Ballerine region and also kind of look at how to convert them into sort of the bold kind of stylized style that will also work for paper cuttings, but also recreated into like the 3D space so that they complement and suit the location and also can still have that way of being depicted that they're sort of growing across the wall. There's been quite a few friendly people who've come past. A lot of local workers um, had a lot of fun conversations and things like that. And also the opportunity to kind of talk about the art talk about the native botanicals. So I'm excited to um, sort of do a series of workshops as well that can kind of also contribute to that by getting the community to also assist in making the paste stops and then creating a separate mural with those paste stops as well. Public space is gendered male and I'm aware that there are an awful lot more um, street artists that identify as male than as female or as non-binary. So I think it's really important um, that we literally hold space for these artists and these skills and these conversations. Um, because it's not just for the artist, it's for you know, half the population. It is a hugely male dominated industry and I get a lot of difficulties in being a female in this field and industry all the time. So to have a um, female only mural uh, gathering event where we can all meet each other and all talk to each other and all feel more of a sense of belonging and um, pride was really, really important. 
the rhythm of the cars going past, like as they're, you know, going past the opening at the end, there's this kind of like boom, 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 boom. As you're walking down the tunnel, you've got your footsteps, this real sense of rhythm and undulation, which, um, yeah, in terms of sens sensory kind of input, that was the big thing that I was responding to, I think, with this work. It's been really, it's been so beautiful being in this space, actually. I've been really surprised by um, the level of interaction, the level of positivity. Um, yeah, people have stopped and always wanting to have a chat. Really supportive. It's been really nice, actually. Particularly, you know, 16 hours in when you're thinking like, I don't know if I can do this for another moment. And then, you know, someone walks past and it's like, wow, it's looking great. Like, yeah, really positive. Everybody's so friendly. Like you could yarn all day if you didn't have work to do. But yeah, I've found it to be really positive, very relaxed. It's just got that big country town feel. I just wanted to, to make it about people moving through urban spaces and because I don't work on a large scale, you know, they're, they're the height of kids usually or, you know, younger people. So I wanted to bring some youth to it and just, that's what kids do. They're on their bike, they're doing handstands, they're skating through. Um, there's a few adults sprinkled in there, but um, yeah, that was just my, it's like I take, took the people off the street and then pop them back in the street. I mean, art in the city kind of helps people have a different relationship with the city or with a place. Beautiful colors need ugly colors to make them more beautiful. <laughs> It's true. And it's something that I do, I've always done just really intuitively and I've only thought about it as I've gone on about that kind of wanting to have the contrast. Because if everything was pretty, then it would all be lost and washed out and washed. It requires your body. It requires so much more of you than, than painting in the studio, painting, you know, in good weather. I really love that side of, of mural painting and I feel a lot more connected to the community as a whole by painting an artwork within it. So my intent is to have a very busy wall and for that one I was like, I can do whatever I want, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> so I did. Every time I paint a woman, it's always with lots of colours, patterns. Um, so I'm really particular in the colour palette I choose and I like clashing pattern shapes, uh, motif, all, all of it, you know. Uh, there's never too much. <laughs> there's always ch challenging on, on painting a big scale and every time it's different because uh, every time the surface is different, uh, you know, the sun exposure is different, the access is different. I was interested in painting not just women, but women that are symbols. So it's not someone that I know. This one I painted, it's, it's, I, I made a face, you know, I made it up. So it's, it's, it's not a, a friend that I took photo of. I create those imaginary women, but they represent an aspect of the feminine. And that's actually what I really like in painting women. The design is really um, led a lot by the shape of the wall. It's a big vertical space, so yeah, it's kind of perfect for a standing figure. I just always hope, um, you know, it kind of gives some interest um, and colour to people's day. Yeah, if it can put a lift in anyone's step or... I kind of think about myself when I was small and um, there really wasn't any public art where I was growing up at all and I remember when someone would come and graffiti my like primary school I was so excited and it just was like the best day of my life so you know if that's going to make a smile on some kid's face I'm wrapped to. <laughs> and it's fun to paint on walls you know it's always great to kind of get a paintbrush out and paint on a wall 